E ma le ni benye o ni le loko. E siku de de asiko yi. Hello everyone, it's Adirun Ke again. I hope your day is going well. Today, I'd like to talk about another iwure, another positive wish or prayer. And this one relates to old age. So it's associated with old age. But before I tell you what it is, I have to mention that you may hear this state. These two statements mean the same thing. But you may hear them in two different dialects. So you may hear e for wokpau. You may hear e for wokpau. Or you may hear e for wokpau. You may hear e for wokpau. Or e for wokpau. Let's see what the statement is. Let's stretch it out a little bit. This is what it is. This this is a conjunction. Fowa is a conjunction. Whether you say pau or pau, these words are also conjunctions. So fi and owa combine, and pa and ewu combine. Ewuri ewu combine. Let's see what they mean word for word. E is you. In this case, E is you. Uh, e is will. E you will. E you will. Fi is use. Fi is use. Owa is hand. Owa is hand, pa is to rub. And I have a playlist in which I explain that. I did my research. I examined a lot of verbs before coming out to boldly say that pa is the most versatile of all Yoruba verbs. If you're looking for a verb, and this is a fun fact, I don't, I've not really seen anything that challenges that proposal so you know <laughs> but if you if you can find another verb that is more versatile than pa please let me know because i will take my words back but i did a video explaining the several meanings that pa could have one of them being as a matter of fact as long as that video was i think i missed one thing or two things that i should have added so, <laughs> yeah, pa is extremely versatile. In this case, it is to rub. In another case, it could be to switch off. It could be to kill. It could be to turn off. It, several meanings. Here, it's to rub. Ewu is the proper name for gray hair. If you say irufufu, it still doesn't even fufu is white white or whitish hair because fufu can be white and it can also be whitish ewu however is the when it when it's associated with you know old age or you know if it's the kind of gray hair or whitish hair that comes out of the head when one one is growing old then you can call it ewu you know, but if you're just talking about white hair, I know that you can get white extensions or whatever. I suppose that can be irufufu. Irufufu works as well. I don't think there's anything wrong with saying irufufu when you're referring to gray hair. No, but just know that ewu, ewu ori is the is the proper name. So when we put these words together, you will get... When you put e fi or walk by e u together, you will get you will use and this is just a transliteration. You will use and to rub gray air. So this is what you would have. You would use and to rub gray air. <laughs> but if you, I suppose, fill in the blanks, 
um, make adjustments for the transliteration that has occurred for the transliteration for the different languages that English and Yoruba are then you can get you will use your hand to rub your gray hair you will use your hand to rub your gray hair in the Yoruba language when you say if you walk by who it's a complete statement but I suppose when you're translating it to English you have to fill in the blanks like I always say you know for translation purposes so this is what it means this is what the statement means but before I tell you what it actually means I mean you can already tell that you will use your hand to rub your gray hair is there are two things that it insinuates one it insinuates that you will grow old because if you don't grow old you won't be able to move your body let alone touch your head let alone feel your gray hair if you're feeling your your ewu that's why it's not just you know that's why it's, it's ewu specifically because it's the official name for that gray hair that comes out of people's heads when they are older you know the fact that you can touch one touch not one sorry the fact that you can touch your head and feel your gray hair insinuates one that you'll grow old uh, but before I say the other thing let me just say I made a video last year um, with the knowing that you know sometimes now this is you will and it's in the plural sense it's not in the singular sense so if you are saying this you would be talking to somebody that is older than you or multiple people irrespective as long as there are two people or more you can say a eh. uh, sorry you can say a eh. you know that's the you will that you will use for them it's a it's the plural you so it would be for one person that is older than you or two people irrespective of their age two two plus people irrespective of your ages if you were talking to somebody that is your age mate or that is younger than you, you would say, you could either say, wa, for walk by you, or you could say, oma, for walk by you, or you say, o, for walk by you, or o, for walk by you. The purpose of making this video then was to say, I know that sometimes you may not want to pray for somebody else. You, you may want to switch the pronoun. So sometimes it's I that you may want to say. Sometimes it's he or she will, you know, for walk by. Sometimes it could be we. You might be praying for you and some, some other people or you and somebody else. It could be they. The purpose of making this video was to help let you know what the other pronouns are for you know combined with will so that if you want to switch this pronouns up you want to pray for your child instead or you want to pray for somebody else or yourself instead you would know what to say so if you haven't watched the video please don't hesitate to check it out this is the plural you this is a and another reason why i did different dialects was i know that well, I chose the main dialect, so what you most likely hear within that Ibadan or your state, um, or Shun state, uh, sorry, <laughs> within that Lagos, Ogun state, or your state, or Shun state, Ekiti state, Axis, that area, those areas, the ones that you most likely hear, you know. That was why I did different. I just chose four dialects, but you know, these are the most common, you know, for basic Yoruba. So I, I decided to do, not only did I do different dialects, I also did all the pronouns, you, I, we, so feel free to check it out. If you check it out, you will know just what to replace a eh with. So if you're praying for somebody that is younger than you, instead of a, which is the plural you, that you, you would use for addressing one person that is older than you or two or more persons, if you're talking to somebody that is younger than you, you can replace a with wa, 
So you could say wa for walk by wu, oma for walk by wu, o for walk by wu, o for walk by wu. And even if you are still saying the plural you, if you want to know how to say the same thing in different dialects, you you would hear emma, you would hear o for walk by wu, you would hear e for walk by wu. You may even hear e. So instead of e, you may even hear here e. That's another one that I didn't even include here. But just so you just so you are familiar with the different ways in which you may hear the same thing, I decided to make this video. All that to say, please check it out. It's going to be quite helpful to you. Um, I will link it somewhere where you can find it easily. So, yes, I said the gray hair suggests, one, that they will grow old. But why would a person even be touching their gray hair? We know that when a person gets considerably old, they're not as vain. So they won't be rubbing their hair like a younger person who is maybe, you know, showing out or <laughs> something. So why would they even be rubbing their hair? With Yoruba statements, there's always a meaning behind the meaning. You know, why to rub? Why, you know... Why not something like, oh, you will have gray hair, you know, or something. Along Jadagba, along Mada Jaka D. Agba Ya Agba Castonio. That's a slang. Along Maja Dagba Ya. When I've said it before, I don't know what video it was, but I've said it before that if another person touches their hair or touches their head, while it has gray hair on it and they pray for you and especially ask for old age for you well lucky you because it's highly highly significant and it's highly highly powerful at that point they are using themselves as the as the as the incantation in quote i don't know how to say it, but they are using themselves as the reference as a point of contact as the basically if you're using themselves as the ashe for your own old age as well so it's very very powerful and very very significant so if they if an if an older i couldn't really find the exact image this expression is this, uh, the way that I, I was looking for maybe something like this on the head, not necessarily, but if they do this, uh, it doesn't really matter. If they do this as well and they touch their head or they touch their gray hair, or you may even see like some older people, some seniors, they would put their, they would put their forehead on yours or put it on your chest, like irrespective of the, I think. I think the reason why they may put their head on your chest may be like maybe the height difference or something. Maybe they can't reach your head. But if they are just as tall as you are and they put their forehead on your forehead and they rest on it like that and they pray for you. Wow. <laughs> You've made it. <laughs> You've made it. Um, it's very, very powerful. Very, very significant. Very, very significant. So not only when you say the fiawakpa, you know, to rub one's gray hair, whether to pray or sometimes it is to advise, apart from like the blessing aspect, sometimes it is to advise or guide you. If an adult is talking to you, you know, and they feel like you're a little bit reluctant, they may touch their gray hair and make reference to it. Not necessarily to coerce you. Not necessarily to coerce you because you're still going to do what you want to do anyway, especially if you're an adult. But to show you that they've been there and they've done that. It's like, okay, <laughs> you see this hair on my head that is gray? Yeah, it's proof of... You're... Yoruba people respect elders no matter what. There's one proverb that I've uh, wanted to do for a while. And that I always forget. But I should note it now. I remember when I'm editing. 
bo mo de ba la so bi agba ko le laki sa bi agba which means if a child i suppose it, let me just translate it quickly and just say uh if a child has more clothes than an older person they cannot have more rags than that older person I don't know how many clothes have I worn since I was born. I tried to calculate and I still couldn't figure it out. I've never really thought about it. Let's just say 500. If I've worn 500 clothes, somebody that is 80, and let's say that's the minimum that I could have gone with, with wearing clothes since I was born. Somebody that is 80 years old or somebody that is even five years older than me would have worn much more clothes many more clothes than that all things being equal or at least they would have worn clothes more times than i have all that to say even if an adult is not even if you feel that and again we also have problems for the fact and there are there are too many proverbs that show that in fact there's always a dynamic and the wisdom that children have or like the decisions that they make tend to align with the times and their own generation you know but there's still experience there's still the experience factor even if you you haven't even if you're perfect and your level of wisdom is perfect you still can have the number of failed experiences or even in general just experiences that the senior or the other person has had so you've not had even if you're perfect or damn near perfect you've not had the number of mistakes the number of errors the number of outbreaks the number of disappointments that they've had so when they tell you something you should always listen still regardless it's a brilliant proverb it's a very brilliant proverb because there's always a tendency to think you were born in the 40s i was born in the 80s how exactly are you going to tell me what to do and expect that i would follow your advice they still have more experience so you can still learn from their errors you can still listen so if I, all that to say if an older person touches their gray hair to say look look at my gray hair you know you see the gray hair on my head the ewu on my head the proof of my old age enumi tiba fi ge obi fun e pe ko je ma je sugbon tiba fi soro fun e ko gba if i break something and if I break a color knot, or even it could be orogwe, could be bitter color, what? And I say, take this. You don't have to eat it. But if I use that, that's another kind of way of emphasizing it, that older people use their old age to emphasize that. Well, not necessarily older people. Anybody can say that one, but it's typically people that are older that say it. Fear walk by wu. Fear walk by wu. Is references both old age and the ability to use that old age usefully use it to bless in prayer use it to guide you know to you know referencing your own self and your own experiences in order to guide the coming generation and all that it goes beyond just growing old it's like growing old and growing old gracefully and usefully doesn't matter what you've what your experience was what you've gone through being able to use your old age as sort of a learning a teaching tool a teaching tool to to the younger ones and say listen you better listen been there i've done that listen you know so yeah that's about it for the prayer it's pretty short another one that you'll hear that almost i think people say both together it almost feels like the same sentence and it is not is a fairy which i will do next
which is another prayer that I would do. It may not exactly be my next video, but it is the prayer that I would do next. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. A big thank you to my YouTube members and patrons for their immense support. Thank you so much. I'm very grateful. If you'd like to join my YouTube or Patreon or what are that platform? Those are my two paid platforms. Um, well, th those are the two opportunities to support me. Please don't hesitate to do so. I appreciate it. I appreciate it very much. And I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day and bye for now.